What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian and today we're gonna be doing the run Don't Fear the Reaper. That's the secret ending of Cyberpunk 2077 and that's the last ending I finally achieved. Hey guys, before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment, give me a like and let me know what games you guys would like to see featured in the channel. It's a small click for you, but it goes a long way for me here on YouTube. Now, I have done all the other endings, most of them you can do around level 30s. As a word of advice, don't try to do this run until you're about level 50. If you're probably wondering why you shouldn't try that run until around that level, well, basically, there is a little bit of problems you're gonna have, but the real main issue is Johnny Zangram gonna start glitching, what it means, the longer you do the run, the less health you're gonna have in your bar. So, it gets to a point by the end, and that's probably the hardest fight you're gonna have. You're gonna have almost nothing to run with, so any shots you get, you're probably dead. Now, besides that, you have to make sure you have about 70% on your affinity with Johnny Silverhand. I seen someone saying on Reddit that they had been able to get the secret ending with only 50%. Now, I cannot confirm the deny. I already had 70% with Johnny. And the way for you to achieve that is every chance you have that Johnny needs to use your body, you just allow him to do so. Also, try to complete any of the quests that it's required help with Johnny. Uh, basically, there are things that Johnny needs to amend from his prior life, and that pretty much should help you. Uh, also, be nice to Johnny, try to understand his issues, that will pump you up to 70%. And now, really quick, one thing we need to do is make sure we have the right armors. Now, I'm not saying everything has to be epic armor or anything like this. Uh, you just need to make sure some of them have slots so you can put up mods and take advantage of the armor. So, for example, in here I have a 195 shirt and what you want to make sure you have is the armadillo mod but not the common ones, the one that give you plus 151 armor and it's basically because you will need. So, in the last run or the suicide run, whatever way people want to call that, uh, you really need to have high armor. Now, the second thing you need to make sure um, is that you have the right weapons. My choice of weapons, and that's something that usually uh, brings up a lot of arguments, uh, people may, ch may agree or disagree with that. I am choosing for my pistol to be Skippy. The great thing about Skippy, as a smart pistol is, it pretty much always hits. It also causes really high damage. It has a great headshot damage multiplier and this is a weapon that levels with you so you don't have to worry about upgrading Skippy, it upgrades itself. Now second of all I have Overwatch as a power sniper rifle. Now I have to say I didn't really use much that weapon but the times I actually had to use this weapon it really got me out of some really bad spots so make sure you have Overwatch. Like I said you will not be using as much but every time you use it gonna pretty much save your life. Now the third one's the one that it really opens for how you like to play the game. I chose the Power Precision Rifle SOR22. Now I did not even put anything on the uh, mod slots. It's just pretty much to uh, skip you will run out of ammo sometimes and overwatch it takes too long for you to aim and shoot so it's a good weapon just to have. And now one of the most important things of all to make sure you kill the enemies really fast, like I said, your health is going to be decreasing, and it's grenade. So EMP grenade is great, you should have a good amount, but the most important of all is that you make sure to craft some Gash anti-personal grenades. They probably killed 80% of my enemies. They have really high damage and they damage a lot of people. That's probably the best grenade for that last run. I'll be honest, for the run I had made about 32 of them and I ran out of them about the end. Um, if I were you guys, I would build at least 50 and it should be fine. That will help you with speed 
you know, most when you attack some mech enemies. So yeah, and now we can start the run. So the first thing is you're gonna get to that part of the scene where uh, you're given choices of how you're gonna finish the game. So you have think of Tres Arzaka, gonna ask Pan Am, think Rogue can help, or put that down to rest. Now what I usually do, and I'm not saying that's how you have to do, okay? I usually choose think Tres Arzaka, and then on the next screen I go just hold on a minute, need to think. After that, you're gonna be waiting about five minutes stops. Um, it, it varies. I had a couple of times. It took five minutes. Sometimes it took even less. And that's when Johnny gonna give the choice of just do a run with you and him. After that, just make sure you make the choices to attack Arzak Tower. Um, if you choose anything else, it's just gonna go back to the choices screen. And you can always choose to go attack the tower. And now, let's begin. Welcome to Arasaka Tower. Time to party Weapons like and it's other hazardous materials are not allowed on the premises. We wish you a pleasant day. Careful, this is their house. Got a game hey, for the right to go it. That's an order! Smoke labs were underground. Elevators, what we want. Shit needs an access to. Need to find a guard with some chops. Status. He'll have our access to him. I need back up here! Hold your fire!
streaming! You down! Max Tech can clean up after. Hit confirm! I'm too young to die! Access token. I'll get the elevator moving. Well. Operations control. Sounds like a good place to run a mega facility from. We plug in your output there. See how she settles in. I'd expect a very warm welcome down below if I were you. Good. If we're going out, it better be with fucking fireworks. Gonna be an ambush, no doubt. Just focus. You're better than them. Motherfucker's got no love for foreplay. Brace yourself. Spike him! Not good. Spike him!
Tower's mainframe to me. Guess we just see what happens when we jack all in. Heads up. Engaging hostile! <laughs>
This can't be happening! <laughs> Holy shit! Exactly seeing any slot. Mainframe's under the floor, most likely. Need to find a way to eject it. Nah, like a goddamn adventure game. You can use it? We'll find out. Damn, I could really use you right now, Spider. This what we're looking for?
That's the slot. Let's make Alt at home. Sure hope your ex output performs as advertised. Look on my works, ye mighty, in despair! Security system overridden. I am in control. Section personnel neutralized. The path to Mikoshi lies open. Come on, let's go! Arisaka Netrunners have stormed the tower's systems. Stopping their advance is my priority. Continue on your way alone. I've cleared a path, but you must hurry. An elite security unit is following you. Alt! You here? What's with the door? Don't strain yourself now. Johnny Silverhand sends his regards. Are you fucking with me now? He's got a point, V. Shut up and finish him. Be done with it. Took down Johnny's arch enemy. Gotten good, I guess. Damn, it feels nice.
saw this place in a dream. Find the access point in the center of the room. Come on, you not much further to go. Then submerse yourself in coolant. I will be waiting. No. How the hell are you in Makoshi? Get the major leagues, Mano. Run in with dicks. Fat ass black cheeses of the afterlife. A heap of partly gold plated cool. The baddie. Where are we? Is it a dream? It'll be alright, V. You'll see. What is up with this? Why are you acting so weird? Misty knows. Misty always knows. Jackie. Amigo. You really got no idea who I am? Mano. How the hell are you in Makoshi? Hit the major leagues, Mano. Run in with dicks. Fat ass black cheeses of the afterlife. A heap of partly gold plated cool. The baddie. Where are we? Is it dream? It'll be all right, V. You'll see. Goodbye, old friend. Afterlife. See you there. Let us go, then, you and I. When the evening is spread out against the sky, like a patient etherized upon a table, let us go, through certain half-deserted streets. The muttering retreats of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels. And sawdust restaurants and oyster shops. Streets that follow like a tedious argument of insidious intent to lead you to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask what is it. Let us go and make our visit. You're here. Who was right, you cranky bastard? Ha! You were right, me. You were. <laughs> and who just ate their words? Oh, fuck off. Is 
this it? The infamous prison of souls? Not how I remember it. But Alt wasn't running the show back then. So, where are all of Soul Killer's victims? Fuck if I know. We only see what Alt wants us to see. So, when do we start? Haven't caught on yet, have you? What? What do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with Soul Killer. Your output don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. Hey, Alt. So seeing as we seem to have the soul splitting out of the way, what's next? I am currently verifying the checksum and eliminating engram copy errors in the process. Wait, you mean... I... Am I a construct? She means you followed in my footsteps. Next step's to copy you into the gaunt's brain. Do you still plan to obliterate Mikoshi? Mm-hmm. It's gotta burn. What about everyone locked away there? I will free them. Take them with me. Cut the crap. We'll gobble them up like so many morsels of code. Make a part of you. As if they could hope for anything better. Come on. So that's really it. We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. Alt? What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons... Christ, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. No. No way. That was not our deal. You shall live for about six months. Perhaps somewhat more. No, no, no. There's gotta be something. Something we haven't thought of. Your body will see you as an intruder. But it's my body! The biochips nanites have altered it permanently. The body is now Johnny. Alt, give us a minute. Fee and I need to talk. I can't. I can't believe it. Everything. All we did. It was pointless. I've had enough of this. Of everything. You most of all. Perfect. Because we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with all fuck knows where. You're keeping your body. Where's she even gonna take you? Beyond the Black Wall. To become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. What's it like? Beyond the black wall. Assuming I don't lose my fucking mind. At least no one can ride my ass there. What about hanging around as a construct? Just till we find another way. Finding another way would mean making a deal with Sokka. I'll pass. So really no other way. As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. Yes, I meant. I don't know. A happier ending. For everyone involved. Here? For folks like us? Wrong city. Wrong people. You have the right to make a choice you have earned, through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. I told you. I said I wanted you to have my body. But I can't do it. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. We knew all along this is how it would play out. Don't. Don't fuck with me right now. 
Only if you cut your pathetic gotten sorry bullshit. to shred a comrade and a chunk of my own soul in one fucking go. Got no idea what that shit feels like. Hmm. Sounds kind of familiar. We know that attitude. CV, stand with you whether you like it or not. For fuck's sake, defend yourself. You're not even trying. You know, you taught me to let go sometimes. Save my strength for one last big bang. Sense, I can turn to face the sky. Today and today only, you might catch a glimpse of the Crystal Palace, that big ass space station in which you mere mortals will never set foot. Now, they say the Crystal Palace has the most expensive casinos, the most beautiful women, and some damn breathtaking views, but that's what they say about Night City. Heaven on Earth, heaven in orbit. What's the difference? Stop eating dirt sniffers like us. One thing, though, better find yourselves a nice high hill to go palace gazing. Yep, sorry, you denizens of Night City's lower reaches. Life has screwed you over yet again. But for all you sitting in the gutter looking up at the spot, here's someone you ain't hurt in a while. Johnny Silverhand. Here's to you, you old bastard, wherever you are. You had a restful night. Mm -hmm. You have no new messages. You have one meeting planned today at the afterlife. Delamain has confirmed a vehicle arrival at the arranged time. I've noticed your calendar is empty for what remains of the month. Would you like me to begin planning? No, thanks. That's as it should be. Perfect. Have a nice day. Hey, boss. Hey, you there yet? Not yet. It'll be on time, though. His people came to scan the place earlier. Check and make sure everything's clean before he arrived. <laughs> Thought we didn't notice him. And the gear? All set with the heat. Rest, too. Full tank, ready to launch. Thanks. Be there soon. Hello. Thank you for choosing the Delamain service. Where shall we fly today? The afterlife. Head over there. As you wish. 
we will be traveling along restricted air corridors. No delays anticipated. Green. If I may deign, you look frightfully fatigued. Was it a difficult night? Difficult few weeks. I'm truly sorry to hear that. The Delamain Network is pleased to offer complimentary services that may just be the ideal remedy for your current condition. What's more, I'm delighted to inform you that Delamain has joined forces with Trauma Team. With our limited time only safe travels package, you have a full range of medical services available to you at your fingertips. What's going on with Arasaka? How's the sitch in the city? Here's an item that might interest you. The Arasaka crisis continues. The corporation still teeters. Aggregated media mentions indicate a positively mammoth stain on the corporation's image, as well as financial and political defeat. Secure Your Soul was to be a smashing success for Arasaka. It turned into a horrific curse. They lost all resources related to the program. Mm -hmm. Promised the rich immortality. Sold them on it. Actually collected engrams and knowledge. A bit for control. For power, I say. Precisely. In any event, it will be some time before Arasaka successfully reorganizes. It seems you, the afterlife, are safe. For now. As to any medical aid, a day late and an eddy short for that. I'm afraid I don't understand. You've practically unlimited resources at your disposal. I'm certain we can find an appropriate solution. Don't worry about it, though. As you wish. Get me to the afterlife and floor it. Naturally. I've chosen the optimal route. We'll be arriving shortly. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the stunning views of our fine city. Might be the last time I get a look at this place. Do you plan to leave Night City? One way or another. In that case, I wish you a swift return home. This city, Thank you for choosing the Dell of my client's note, is Have a, a nice true day. West Coast gem. Uh -huh. They also call it a metropolis of near paralyzing yeah. beauty. Yes, I'm talking about it. Out. She was quite the punch. You TKO'd Arasaka, in fact. Brought you Eddie's influence around town. But not just that. It meant positive paralysis of Arasaka systems. A few additional hatches opened up. My people rushed in, grabbed what they could. So it's all systems go for the op. I have confirmed the intel leaking out of Arasaka. The casino is currently testing a new security system. And it's true. They will be shutting it down briefly today. I believe you'll know how to use that moment. Having second thoughts? Hope that doesn't mean you want to drop out. Drop out? At this stage? No. It would make no sense. I'd take a hit. Speaking of which, nobody's ever pulled off a stunt like this. Where I'm from, they'd say it's straight impossible. They'd say you're taking too big a risk. 
Poetically speaking, flying towards the sun to burn up. They'd be dead wrong. All of them. Self-confidence worthy of a legend. Or of someone risking it all. <laughs> but I sense you know what it's like to lose everything. To fight for one last breath. I see it in you. This time tomorrow, you should have the casino's client data. All of it. Don't forget your side of the bargain. Oh, I never forget a promise. Good luck. Right. In position. Perfect. Almost to the second. My turn. Satellites are down for now. Just got the signal. Signature cloaking activated. Remember, got one shot and one shot only. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. As soon as it starts, there'll be no backing down. No chance of extraction. No chance of survival if anyone notices. Excellent. But if this works, you'll gain more than you ever imagined. Times when I had something to gain are long gone. Now, now I got nothing to lose. That's kind of grim. Then again, who am I to judge? Okay. Here goes nothing. Good luck. See you down bottom. Over and out. So yeah, guys, so the ending end up being pretty much like uh, Rogue's ending with a few difference in dialogue. You don't actually get any special achievements for doing that quest besides, you know, bragging rights that you can storm a tower all by yourself 
with your help decreasing all the time. I hope you guys enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, give me a comment, give me a like, hit that notifications bell button and let me know what games you guys would like to see me doing walkthroughs, runs or even streaming. Thank you very much, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the game. Bet your tunes if the afterlife found you a new Major League Ripper, huh? Them swanky downtown fuckers shooting chrome out his ass. Am I right? <sighs> well, I mean it, kid. Get all you can out of this life. You deserve it. More than anyone I know. But stop by sometime, okay? Next time you're in the neighborhood, we'll talk about old times and... I'll take a look at you, make sure that the new Ripper of yours didn't screw anything up. See you around, V. Hey, V! Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks for everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I, I can't even describe it. All right. Enough lecturing. Take it easy. Hello, V. How are things? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's sandstorms heading straight for us. So yeah, you're missing out. No, but seriously. We're doing all right. Saul and I somehow get along, for better or for worse. But still, Family's always growing. Work's always piling up. But better to keep busy, right? And to think if it wasn't for you, I'd still be stumbling my way through Night City. So I just want to say thank you. For all you've done for me. I'd still be lost if you hadn't set me on the right track. All right, well, talk soon, V. Don't be a stranger. Hello, B. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain V in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now, but just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Aldo Caldo. Remember that. Ah, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well... Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. Hey, V, so funny thing just said. Oh, fuck, fuck, sake. Voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. Uh, what did I even... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them? At first, I was like, over my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait. I could actually be fun. So, man, uh, who knows? Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you even care. Call me back when you can, okay? Peace out! B, hey, hey! So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. 
Zodoffs. Stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff. For a good cause. And still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. And I want to make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. somewhere no one's listening. Okay, so my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole thing. She, she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these pills. Says they're vitamins. Got them analyzed at a lab. And, and they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, 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 well you got a sec, call me, okay? Oh, oh yeah, and don't forget to delete this message. Hey V, listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I, well, one thing led to another. Know what I drew? Strength, the Emperor, and the world. Babe, the world's gonna hear about you. Go and show Night City what you're made of. Cause we lost everything